What's up YouTube? It's Louis here bringing you today's cryptocurrency video. We're going to take a look at Proton for the first time. If you don't know, the ticker is XPR. No, nope, not XRP, XPR. <laughs> I actually had someone in my Discord group chat and I was telling him, we're in Ripple, we're in XRP. And every time he came back to me, he's like, yeah, don't worry, I'm in XPR, I'm in XPR. So I hope he didn't buy Proton. But it doesn't matter because it's looking very bullish anyway. Uh, let's go to the weekly time frame. So on the weekly time frame, you don't even have the 20 EMA. So I'm just going to change. Uh, let's get rid of that. Uh, moving average exponential. We only use EMAs here. 10 on the 10. Yeah, so we've got the 10 EMA. So the weekly 10 EMA is like your daily 20, basically. Or I, I don't even know. Let me double check that. No, 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 no. Like your 50. I'll oh, just. Never mind. Never mind what I just said. <laughs> on some charts, I've seen it uh, be like that before. But um, so you only got 10 weeks on this candle. Since then, you back tested as support. You kind of fell below it, but we're getting back above it. So it could just be a little fake out. Going to get rid of this now because I don't need it. So not much on the weekly. So I'll just look at it on the daily, to be honest. So get rid of them. Let's get the fibs out. So you had this low here, made a technical target, fell back to support, overshot that. So let's look at the fibs over here. Dip here, got above the one, met the 1618, pulled back to the 1.272 before reaching the 2414, getting overextended and then finding support on the two. Beautiful, because you found support higher than this swing high. So if you were to ever lose, if you ever to confirm that as resistance, your worst case scenario would be back here. Not seeing that at the moment. Yeah, you are below, but you're not hitting your head on it yet. You're not having wicks at to the top. It's going to drop, are you? Massive wick, like this, like that. You're not having that or even that anywhere through this. And you're not having even formed your bearish cross. Once you form your bearish cross, then yeah, potentially going to come back down to here. But until then, not seeing that. So now that we found a nice key level of support, sitting over here let's just mark this zone this red candle so you're sitting on that red candle basically as support you've got wicks to the downside with this wicks to the bottom well the saying don't really work only wicks to the top is going to drop so i don't know what the saying is for that guys to be honest <laughs> um but this is a nice bullish candlestick pattern a reversal candlestick pattern a bullish hammer it looks like thor's hammer but Sometimes the bodies can be, uh, be even bigger. Let's see if there's another example of that. So yeah, this could even be considered a bullish hammer. You see this, it looks like it, but because it's at resistance, can you see this is resistance over here? So here, these two here, bullish hammers. The same looking candlestick is here, but it's not a bullish hammer. This is called a hanging man. If you ever see a bullish hammer or what you think is a bullish hammer at resistance, different meaning it's a bearish candlestick pattern and it's not a bullish hammer just because it looks like it it's not and this is a common misconception because even when i got taught this by my mentor and the multiple courses that i went through the reason why i clocked from my experience that this was incorrect is literally because i used to get it wrong all the time so i started with forex but then i got into crypto and i completely got out of forex and just went straight into crypto i went stocks i went to crypto made money sorry went to stocks and forex made money there but the most money is in cryptos guys and that's why i'm just full-time crypto now i have discord group chat i sell courses i sell the group chat obviously you don't have to have any do any of them just letting you know what i do and then of course trading and holding cryptos and then soon getting paid by youtube for doing what i love crypto so multiple sources of income just from cryptos i used to also do one-on-one -on -one mentorship but that takes way too much of my time so yeah you just because this looks like a bullish hammer like these two here it's not necessarily because it's at resistance and i clocked this from experience from just keeping i just kept on buying them candles you know what i mean and every time hitting my stop loss not understanding why and then oh yeah realized basically it's a hanging man so just like here hanging man hanging man drop drop at support it should have worked but you lost the you lost the 20 you fell below resistance so you could say this at resistance but you also at support so it's just like consolidating now if you do roll over could come to here lose that you're going to come down to here basically now let's turn on the fibs to look at some new impulsive wave targets for proton again guys every time i do a video i'm looking at it for the first time with you guys so if we can get above the 618 
at the zero three uh at three cent basically three four cent then you're going to retrace to the one and i think you're actually yeah you got this sort of falling wedge over here well you fell out of it you broke out of it you didn't back test it you, you fell below back testing it as resistance come to the support of it lost it got back above so it's highly highly likely since the break in you haven't back tested that support so I would uh, wait for a pullback to here, basically, if you're looking for an entry. Again, guys, I'm not in Proton. I'm not going to get into Proton. I have enough bloody cryptos, honestly. Literally CBA for new coins. I just keep piling into my coins that I'm already in. So once you get above the 618, start retracing. You're going to hit your head here at the 786 because this is your next uh, zone. You're going to retrace to all of these highs, basically. And then you're going to come into this one because this was support over here. You had like a descending triangle over here and that's your neckline. And when you got back up there, you got rejected. And that's why I dropped. And I think I saw this on one of the cryptos today. I think, oh, I don't even know if it was Bitcoin or Fyro or something like that. But we need to break. I think it is Fyro. We need to break above the descending uh, triangles support slash resistance because at the moment you got rejected and fell back. And I think you're trying to break it again. But if you get rejected again, you know you're going to fall because look what happened to Proton. It looked all bullish. Oh, yeah, double bottom. We're, we're good to continue. Came back to that descending triangles. Neckline got rejected, putting in a lower low. Kept coming back to, to this swing high because if you go lower than this, you're going to come to this. If you go lower than this, you're going to come to this, basically. So once we're above three cent, we will eventually see, eventually, because it won't be instant, a pump at a uh, of 166 percent and this is not enough for the end of bull run target because it's so close already guys such a small coin proton that i do believe that you will meet the 2414 and probably get overextended because every time at the beginning of the video you saw it go above the 2414 so i'm actually going to go and that'll be 485 uh, percent at 20 cents so i'm actually going to go back down to sit down to this dip because it's a very similar dip you had this um descending triangle here you had the neckline of it. You've came down, formed a double bottom, got rejected to it, put in a lower low. Descending triangle. Oh, sorry, wrong. Descending triangle here. You came down, double bottom, came back to that resistance, got rejected, put in a lower low. So exactly the same as that and probably exactly the same as that on the smaller time frames. So let's get rid of that. So what was your target out of this? Look at that, so you got a bit overextended. Let's turn on the... No, just a bit below that. 3.272, 3.414 probably. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, so let's turn on the 3.414 for here because you met that exactly. And where'd you fall back to? The two. And that's what we saw. Uh, that's what we went through earlier. So let's delete that. Redo these fibs. So I'm going to give you a new end of bull run target for Proton. So minimal, so we're going to come to the 1618 and how much percent was that? Like 150 or some shit from current price. Okay. From current price, 250, but from the 1618, 160. Yeah, that's dead. That's not going to happen. It's going to be way more than that. There around 480. Yeah, that's, that's a bit close to what I think. So minimal, I'm going to say 20 cent. I'm looking at 54 cent, but I don't want to be a moon boy. I know I'm going to get hate in the comments. Oh, hopium. Oh, you're a joke. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay, don't watch my videos. Don't don't go and waste your time watching my videos, disliking and then commenting under them. Oh, some people are actually hilarious. Do something better with your time. If you don't like me, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> so we're gonna So I do believe that we're gonna come to 54 cent because going back to these retracements over here, that's what you meant. And you might overshoot that a little bit. Sorry, that a little bit. Sorry for being a moon boy in this video. I know, I know. It might be hard to believe. How can something at two cent get to 54 cent? Let's check that from current price. That'd be a gain of 2000%. Look, such a small coin. If you doubt that that would happen, that's your problem, not mine. From the 618, 1400%. Uh, Perfect. Minimal 20, max 54, 55. Hope you enjoyed that video. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, peace.